Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the controller issues in Dynasty Warrior Origins. It's not hard to fix, but try not to skip any steps. The first thing you want to do is restart Steam and see if that fixes the issue. Um, not just close it out, but uh, press the X here, go to your system tray, right click on it and say exit Steam. The next thing you want to do after you've tried that and it hasn't worked is go to Steam. Uh, cl left click on the icon top left, go to settings, go to controller. And basically you want to click on uh, support driver and click on that. You're gonna have to uh, restart your PC, but try that to see if it works. Okay, after you've done that, you want to update your controller drivers. So open up device manager, uh, go to search, type in device manager. So it's either going to be in human interface devices or Xbox peripherals, depending on what kind of device it is. Um, when you find it, for example, right here, uh, you want to right click on it and say update driver and see if that fixes the issue. The next thing you want to do is uh, go to Steam, go to the game, right click on it, go to properties, uh, go to installed files and click on verify integrity of game file. Using a, uh, a DualShock controller or a PlayStation controller, uh, what you want to do is go, I'll put a link in this in the video description below, uh, but go to DS4 Windows uh, and this is a free software that uh, helps you connect uh, DualShock 3, 4 and PlayStation 5 and uh, Nintendo Switch Pro uh, to your PC um, and it's very useful and maybe try that to see if that fixes the issue. The next thing you want to try is disconnecting all other controllers and devices from your PC except the one that you intend to use. Uh, and also if you're using a wireless controller, try connecting it with a USB cable to see if that fixes it. The next thing you want to do is go into uh, the settings controllers uh, basically to un like uninstall it to uh, take, uh, to you basically want to go in here, remove the controller and then reconnect it um, into Steam and see if that fixes the issue. And if that fixed the issue, please leave the video a like and please subscribe if it didn't help you leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back